Hello everyone, I'm Lee Roseberry I'm with the Range Committee. I'm going to walk you through a, a little bit of talk today on uh, how to behave on the fire and line safely, how to shoot happily, responsibly. We're going to be going over a few of the club rules as we go. These rules we've got to understand, they're for all of us. And they're not open to interpretation, they're rules. If we want to maintain a safe place to shoot, we're all going to have to learn these rules and follow them. All right. Let's say that I just got here. I just got out of my truck. First thing I'm going to want to do, check and see, is there anybody downrange? There's no flag up. But I'll take a look anyway. From right here, I can have a good look at the range itself and a good part of the firing line. That foliage ain't helping us today, Jim, but I want to make sure that everyone who is down here is behaving safely, shooting responsibly. If they're, they're not, then from right here, I'm going to want to immediately call cease fire. And uh, I'm going to be expecting when people hear the command cease fire that they're going to just lay their firearms down on the shooting bench, muzzles pointed down range, step back away from them. Cease fire, that's an emergency call. Demands an immediate response. So we're not going to clear our firearms. When we call or hear cease fire, we're just going to put them down on the bench, muzzles pointed down range, step back. Okay. Now I, I don't see anything that looks out of the ordinary down here this morning. So I'm going to move over to the clubhouse. I'm going to leave my gear locked in my truck. Right up in here in the doghouse is our sign-in book. And I'm going to want to I'm going to want to make sure that I print my name so that everyone can read it. We have to know who's been using the, the club range. So we're going to want to print clearly. Copy of the range rules is right here. If I bring a guest or two guests, I'm going to want to make sure that we go over the range rules together and that everyone has a basic understanding of how to shoot safely before we go down to the range. Now also, we have a club waiver form. We're going to be asking all guests, members will probably have already filled one out, but we'll be asking all guests to, uh, to read and sign a club waiver form. And when they're completed, we'll just drop them right in here. All right. Oh, the flags. Thank you, Jim. All right. We now have three flags. This red flag is going to be hung from the pole if we want to use the firing line. The yellow flag going to be hung from the pole if we want to shoot archery. The orange flag, we're going to hang it if we want to do anything else on the property. We are going to post the yellow flag, I mean the orange flag rather, if we want to walk in the woods, go fishing down at the, at the river, whatever we want to do, we'll use this orange flag and when we sign in, we'll print where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing, so that anyone who comes to the club after us is going to know where we are. All right. Well, now let's put up the, the red firing line flag. Once again, we were shooting archery, 
we put the yellow flag up. If we were doing anything else on the property, we'd put the orange flag up. Okay, now go over and get my gear. I really like these slings. It allows us to keep one of both hands free. In the winter, that might be uh, might be very helpful because these stairs get icy. And here we are down at the firing line. Hi, Dwayne. How are you this, doing? This is Dwayne. He's going to help us today. I'm going to want to take my gear, place it in the in the back, off the firing line at first. Now I'll, I'll take the time to have a good look at the range, make sure that the target frames are looking all right, not trash, it, but you know, kicking around that we'll have to pick up later, and I'm going to want to put up a target. All right. Now, now we, we don't have any firearms at all on the bench. Everything has been secured uh, either in a case or the action's open, no ammunition in any part of the firearm, and an empty chamber indicator, we'll get to in a minute, inserted. Everything moved off the bench behind the firing line. Now, we're clear. Time to turn on the, the uh, red lights. Now it's safe to go forward to the firing line, change targets. While the red lights are on, no one is going to handle firearms in any way. When we're sure that everyone is back behind the firing line, then, and sure, because you can't really see all the way down to the 100-yard backstop, even from right here. So we want to be sure that everyone is back. When everyone is back, we'll turn the lights off we can handle our firearms again and we can prepare for ready or we can just relax. But while anyone is forward of the firing line, red light's going to be on, no handling of firearms. And here we go to staple up. In a moment here, Dwayne is going to, is going to show us how to uh, properly and safely load this rifle and prepare to shoot it. In the meantime, though, let's let's look at these guns, and we can see that the uh, there's no magazine in either one of them. The actions are both open. The uh, the empty chamber indicators are in place. We can look at these guns and know. All right, these guns are, are probably going to be safe. And notice the fluorescent orange color. You can see that very clearly, as opposed to say a dark blue empty chamber indicator, something like that. Fluorescent orange, probably going to be the best. Okay, Dwayne, if, if you would, please. Notice how Dwayne is keeping his muzzle pointed directly into the backstop. He gets a comfortable shooting position. And off we go. All right. And once again, see how Dwayne's muzzle never leaves the backstop? That's good, Dwayne. Thank you very much. <laughs> 